Welcome back, guys. It's about that time. Let's do another lot walk. Okay, guys, welcome. This is Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Check us out, 829 West Main Street. Or Google us at maplemotors.com. We have an About Us section. We do update every Monday with new inventory. Today, I believe we're putting on 11 cars. We go through about 50 to 60 cars a month. Constantly rotating inventory here. We are all family. We've been around almost 40 years. Should be pretty fun. So today I'm gonna to be walking around the lot pointing out all the new inventory. And if you're new, go ahead and hit subscribe, share, and hit like. That does help me out quite a bit and I appreciate it in advance. I do have financing. I do have shipping. And I can uh, transport these cars all the way to the border. After that, you'll have to figure it out. So let's go ahead and get started here. I've got videos to all these test drive videos, point out flaws, that's what we look for here. We're a very honest dealer. And we'll tell you everything we know about these cars. All right. So what we're gonna do is walk around, I'm gonna tell you the year, the price. I'm sure everything's priced today. I haven't checked everything, but we'll find out. If not, it'll be on the website. This one here's a 1957 210 for 31.9. This thing's got all new interior. It's like a pearl white interior. And I'll have that test drive out today for you. Coming on up and around. How about a 1956 model? This one's got a four speed in it. The baby blue and the white two tone for 31.9. You wanna see engine specs and all of that? We're gonna do that throughout the test drive video. So be sure to look this one up. All you have to do is type in 1956 Bel Air Maple Motors and it'll pull this video up. You can also use the stock numbers um, like 1214. Go to the website, hashtag 1214 Maple Motors should pull it up right next to that got the 55 model that's a two-door post this one's 31.9 this is pretty quick too this thing's got a 400 in it and it's a strong runner that was definitely a fun test drive this one i haven't done yet just got it in hopefully i'll get her done today it's a 1955 210 this one's 29.9. Been picking up a lot of these this week. That's fine with me. Coming back over here, a 1930 model Ford sedan with a LS conversion and AC. Yes, it's got AC in it. Check this out. They got that huge motor in this small car. If you could take this back to 1930, it'd be the fastest car in the world. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, that's cool. It's the first time I've seen this. Of course, I haven't walked around this rider yet to do the test drive. Silly rabbit. Pretty cool. Okay, let's come up to the front here. Next up, we got a 1979 Corvette with T-tops. This one's 13.9 with a tan interior. Right next to that, 
1993 Mustang convertible right hand drive. Something different. It was fun test driving this too. And that one's 199. Right next to that, a 1967 Camaro. This one's 29.9 in the blue with the white stripes around the front. I've also been picking up a few Mustangs here. And for $24.9, you could get a 1966 Mustang convertible in blue with the blue interior. Or you could get a 1968 model, which this is one of the new ones this week. $27.9. I think I put this video out first this morning. I've already got it online. If you do hit subscribe and you hit the notification bell, it'll tell you every time that I upload new inventory. That way you can get the inside scoop. Right next to that, a 1966 Mustang convertible in blue, 21.9. On to the next one. A 1984 Monte Carlo SS 14.9. So what we're going to do next, I still got some more cars I need to show you. Uh, we got the whole other side of the lot. And of course, here in the front, we're going to go to the showroom. But before we do that, we'll go to Pops' Hot Wheels room. Anytime you come up here to Maple Motors, just go in there, ask Pops, say, let me see the cars. He'll take you over here and show you all the Hot Wheels collection. All right, guys, be right back. If you're into collectible cars, miniature, Hot Wheels, the, the classic Hot Wheels, the old school stuff, stuff you can't find anymore, Pops has got it. You definitely want to check it out. Jim's Hot Wheels channel here on YouTube. Go subscribe. And when it rains, I'll be in here making videos, showing you all the price tags. And I probably need to go ahead and go and do some more on this section over here. He has changed this up quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the whole room. Um, I think it's going to be this week. It, it was calling for at least two days of rain here in Tennessee. So it'll be a good time for me to catch up on that channel and let you know what he's got. Uh, if I'm not responding that much on that channel, that's because I've got my hands full with the Maple Motors channel here. Trying to keep up with all that and all the social medias that go about running this classic car lot. All right, let's get back out there and I'll show you the rest in the showroom here. We did pick up some new cars. That one right there was awesome to drive around. I felt like I was in a dune buggy. Absolutely love this one. We'll start with this one too. So it does have the Chevrolet 350 up under the hood. And it is a Ford Roadster. It's a 1932 model. And they've put the common 350 under there. It's got plenty of power. She tries to kick the tires over every time you get into the gas. That was definitely fun. And this one's priced 27.9 with a beautiful paint scheme, pinstripe. And really nice interior. Very comfortable in this one. Horn works. <laughs> Coming over here. We've already sold it. This one's kind of a mashup car here. It's a 1967 model Camaro. But it's got a few Mopar things going with it. See, it's got the air grabber on the hood. It's got the shifter. But other than that, it's actually a pretty nice cruiser with the white interior. It's even got the tissues under there. Pull out TV, chameleon paint job, chameleon steering wheel. But it did, it was going on the website, but it did sell um, Friday when we were getting ready to close. I already had the video done, so I went ahead and put it out early. And that's what I do. I go ahead, if I, if I have the video done and then the car sells after, I'll just go ahead and mark it sold, say sold fast. 
and show you what we got in. I mean, why not? I already spent like two hours making each video for all these cars. So I'm gonna show them to you. Right behind that is a 1992 Mustang. It's already sold, but it does have like a 650 horsepower Terminator motor. And that's unheard of in these cars. They're already lightweight. So you gotta be careful driving that one around, that's for sure. This one right here is gonna be really good. I'll get to it in just a second, kind of show you around the back here. Personal car, Jason's with the lightning rods. He needs to go ahead and finish this car, put some paint on it. It's not for sale, a lot of people ask about it. I try to bug him. If you come in say, Jason, put some paint on that car. I wanna see it finished because I'd love to. He's had it for many, many years. Right next to that, it's already sold. There's another Fox body we had in here with a supercharger, the Cobra, and then the Corvette sitting right over here. It is not available, but I'll show them to you anyways, just because we're in here. Okay, next up, the Chevelle. It's a pro street car, you can, it's very streetable. It's actually got a, uh, mufflers on it, got an amp, the radio, but it is very fast, very fast. 22 inch wide tires on the back, 454 with a blower. 1968 Chevelle, 319. The hood does go back on there, lock up. It's got the flames on it, it is fiberglass. That was definitely fun. Check this out. There's some meat. Right here. Maybe one of the best collector cars of the update. This one's a 1970 GTO with the original motor in it. It's even got the original window sticker. Well, it's not the original one, a copy of it, but check that out. Very cool. Look what it sold for originally. That's what I'm talking about. But anyways, it's got the original 400 um, three-speed transmission. And it runs and drives awesome. I'll have that video on today for you. That way you can see how straight this car actually is. Definitely like that one. All right. Let's go on out here and walk around a lot some more. Got the old Harley up here. I don't know the big story on that, but we have had it in here a while. I'm assuming it's for sale. I've already sold the Ford Ranger. It was 14.9. Got the Ford Ranger, 1979. F-150. Okay. This one right here, the Patina C10, 19.9. Beautiful truck, runs and drives good. Three on a tree, 1966 model. Wow. With a bench seat. And the wood bed. We got to walk over here now. We're going to look at some of these cars. Got a few on hold and sold in the back. Got some more up here that are available. But we did have a 63 Comet. We already sold it. Pearl paint job. The 63 Impala, we sold for 25.9. Still waiting on the rest of this, but it's a uh, 1969, or no, this is a 68 Firebird. I know these cars by the fender wells and the vent windows. Same with the Camaros. I think that was when I was about 12 years old, 13 years old. I learned them by saying uh, the 68 had a round fender well, the 67 had the vent window, and the 69 had a D-shaped fender well. My ADHD kicked in and I was like 90, 90. I don't know why, but that was the first three uh, body styles that I learned on the Camaros. This was already sold. 1955 Fairlane. With the four door and then another one that's sold and then we got all the rest here that are available i'm just showing everything on the front lot right now if you've seen anything in the back and i didn't mention it it's because it's not available 
This one right here is 12.9. It is available. 1977 Cutlass with a red interior. And how about for 1909, a 1974 Ventura GTO? It's kind of a rare car. You got to love how uh, Riviera rides. Very smooth, like floating on a cloud. 1971 Buick Riviera, 17.9. Huge package tray on this one. I think the back end is my favorite part of this car, so we have to go back here and look at it. Check that out. It looks like a spaceship. Got a 1972 Buick Skylark for 18.9. And I'll have to do a video on it today. I am going to try to get three cars done. I think I've got five now. I only had two on Friday to do. And then when I come in today, they added five more cars. So, man, I'm uh, getting behind here. I need to go ahead and catch up. And, of course, we always try to keep a VW on the lot. This is a 1979 Beetle Convertible. Of course, we got it for $14.9. I hope you enjoyed this walk around. We'll walk one more time, just kind of breeze the lot over. We are a family business. We do have financing. We do have shipping. We have honest test drive videos. We tell you everything we can find on these cars. That way you don't have to worry. We ship these cars to California, Texas, New York, and we're right here in Tennessee. Again, I can't get it past the border, but plenty of them have. So I can get it to the border, you figure out the rest if you're out of the country. I have a lot of people ask that all the time. And of course, there's three finance companies, JJ Best, Lightstream.com, and Collector Car Lending. Go check them out, look at the reviews, and we'll get you hooked up. If you ever come to Maple Motors, this is the difference here. We are a family business. We will not bother you out here. We'll let you walk around in peace. A lot of people just come up here to walk around and look at the cars. They don't want to be bothered. And that's kind of how I would want if I was going to a dealership. A lot of these dealerships, they'll run out, you know, I ask you a million times if you need help. We're just not like that. So if you come up here and you do want help, please don't take offense to that. We're just right there in the office or we'll be running around working on cars here. You grab one of us, we'll help you out. That is confusing though, because it's not like a normal uh, car lot, that's for sure. Now, of course, we don't fix stuff here. All we do is buy and sell. We'll clean them up. I mean, if it's not running right, we'll get it running right. But we don't, we're not a repair shop, put it that way. We don't ever want to expand or get any bigger either. We like staying small just the way we are. Definitely makes life easier. Okay, guys. Almost done here. We'll walk through the carport. The old Camaro's already sold. We've had it sold for a long time. Holding the car for the guy. And he uh, eventually pick it up. Need to take it back here and wash her off again. Hopefully this week I'll get my GoPros back. GoPro actually hooked me up this time. Uh, give them a shout out for that. They took my sevens, seen all the videos that I've made here and are giving me two free eights. I don't have to pay anything for them. I got lucky on that. I'm very excited about it. And I'm excited to try the eights. I've always been scared because of the lens, but I found that they have covers that makes all the difference for me. But if you look below in the description, you can see everything that I'm using to make these videos. Today, I'm making this video with a GoPro Max. Definitely my favorite of all so far. I've had every GoPro and uh, the Max never fails. It's 
never crashes it just keeps going it's a pretty good one all right it's time for me to get back to work instead of just walking around talking appreciate you watching guys hit subscribe share hit like i will keep these videos coming your way and i do need your help so please go and do that nobody drove anything cool in today well pat did pat drive that corvette in he may have no he drove his truck in i'm not real sure where this came from i see so many new cars throughout the week that come in this lot this might be one of them um i'm gonna have that tahoe for sale i i was i had it for sale what a year ago or something and my wife got mad at me she wanted it back so i took it off the market and she's been driving it and then got her that new jeep and i was debating on selling it the tahoe will be for sale uh it'll probably be around on 10 or 11 grand so be looking for that in the next few weeks if you're interested in a tahoe i know it's quite different than what we got here but sometimes we got the modern stuff available all right again i can't stop talking can i i'll see you later guys